the uh, article uh, by this particular newspaper or this media house, like it has happened many times before, is factually incorrect. Uh, they have once again not done their homework. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the fact is that Meghalaya has uh, not come out with any kind of uh, tender or any uh, shown any intention to procure uh, a chopper because it's very expensive. So we will be uh, only giving out a tender for leasing, uh, short-term lease on service basis and we pay on an hourly basis uh, to the concerned uh, company. And that is the most efficient way in which uh, we can serve the purpose at the same time not incur too much of a heavy financial burden. And this is being done also because what uh, most of the time uh, the chopper that is there that's meant for the tourist and uh, the normal sautés that are meant for Shillong, Turag, Ohati sautés, they normally get disturbed uh, when uh, there is some VIP movement. And hence, as and when we require the uh, the chopper, uh, uh, at least uh, by following a procedure, uh, we'll be leasing it out and using the chopper uh, as and when we require it. The chopper will be belonging to the service provider, the pilot will be theirs, fuel is theirs. We only pay on an hourly basis. So it is completely incorrect and uh, this uh, media house must uh, you know, get their facts correct. Uh, many times they've got it wrong. Last time also they mentioned that there is a 1,300 crore of scam in the tourism department uh, and later on when they found out it was just a 13 crore scheme and there was no scam in it also out of 13 crore scheme uh, a component of about 70 lakhs was not fully complete and uh, and accordingly we had asked the contractor and every department to to follow up so uh, sensationalizing news like this uh, you know they may get the attention for that day but as they keep doing this i'm sure that people will lose trust in such media houses who keep coming out with such false uh, information and news. So uh, I would uh, urge them not to uh, come out with this kind of uh, news uh, just to defame the government or uh, you know, any line. So it's, it's, not, it's not a great good thing. The procedure is very clear that we are going to be leasing out uh, the chopper services and the payments will be made on an hourly basis. So there is no question of procuring a chopper. It is. Uh, absolutely not feasible for us to procure a chopper because number one is very expensive number two maintaining it is very difficult number three we need pilots to be uh, recruited by the government so on and so forth so there is uh, completely no need for it our uh, VIP movements are limited uh, but at the same time I must also say that uh, choppers are are necessary sometimes because it saves a lot of time uh, and sometimes uh, urgent movements need to be uh, uh, need to be done by uh, senior uh, leaders and for all those purposes we do require the chopper but the usage is quite minimum and as I said so therefore the the question of procuring a chopper for from the state point of view keeping our financial constraints in mind is absolutely uh, not at all feasible so as I said the newspaper has got it completely wrong defamation case whether it has to be done or not uh, that uh, the DIPR and uh, accordingly administration will decide I don't want to go into details of that uh, it's not uh, but yes uh, it's not in that's not good or it's not correct for any media house to come out with news without as I said doing their homework just to sensationalize uh, you know the news uh, and get the attention uh, they come out with news like that without facts uh, so yes, if necessary, a defamation case may be filed also, but that will be uh, explored by the uh, officials um, and we'll see how it goes. But I do urge the, the media houses that we need to act responsibly. We need to ensure that correct news comes out, factual news comes out, and uh, don't try to sensationalize news just to get attention, as I said, because in the long run, uh, people will lose trust uh, in your newspaper. So the media house concerned uh, needs to be careful uh, because it's about their brand and about the trust that people have in them, which people are slowly and steadily losing.